Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ian. I'm a software engineer at a company in uh, London. And on this channel, I try to inspire you in your journey as a programmer. In today's video, we're gonna cheat the system. Let me tell you what I mean by that. As a software engineer, you probably worked with uh, GitHub or GitLab, uh, Gitbucket, uh, and uh, they all have in common this nice graph with um, your uh, contribution every single day and um, if I don't know if you noticed or not but uh, there are some uh, programmers which are taking this challenge of uh, completing a full chart at first I thought you know what this is quite cool uh, full year they are uh, some committed uh, person they try to, to evolve and push themselves to the limit after uh, analyzing a little bit the commitment you have to put in for uh, this kind of challenge and uh, what's the result, how we can benefit you as a programmer, I fastly understood that, you know what, this doesn't work at all. Let me tell you why. First of all, in order to complete this uh, chart, you need to push every single day for one entire year, um, which means you have to push on um, weekends, on uh, Christmas day, on uh, basically when you're sick, when you uh, don't feel like coding, where you have uh, some vacation, you need to do this every single day, which uh, from my point of view, I don't think it's worth it. I think um, as a programmer, as a developer, you need to um, take time off to take a step back, look at the older projects, try to rewrite some code, try to do some research. Uh, you don't have to push to the um, GitHub every single day uh, in order to prove yourself that you're a good programmer. If you're pushing every single day, uh, I don't think you have enough time to do your research and uh, learn new, new things. Although you'll say, you know what, uh, I'm doing the research and I'm uh, trying new code and um, I'm trying different uh, uh, per application, I'm building uh, different stuff and yeah, I have to push it uh, every single day. I think it's quite easy to cheat the system, pushing just one line of code, it doesn't need to be uh, proper code, you can do whatever, uh, even some uh, comments if you want you can make a full file of comments and push uh, that over and over again and you'll have a full chart of, uh, of green dots and your Git, GitHub. When I put myself in uh, employer's shoes, trying to uh, see what they are thinking when uh, uh, they're seeing a uh, full chart from a beginner developer and uh, often I think that um, they're not quite impressed because a person who dedicates so long of uh, pushing f into this challenge um, basically didn't have time for networking, for uh, more research to div and uh, most important to develop their soft skills. Now, my question is if you code all the time on your weekends, on uh, uh, Christmas day, uh, basically every single day, when you have time to network with different uh, people, to learn new stuff and uh, uh, most important, take care of your uh, mental health. I don't think it's uh, a bad idea to write a lot of code, uh, especially at the beginning, because you need to uh, make yourself familiar with all the new stuff, the new information, and uh, by practicing is the best way of uh, doing and uh, learning. Coming back to the GitHub contribution graph, uh, as a programmer, we know um, that almost everything is possible with a Google search. So this is what I've done. I have searched on uh, Google and here on YouTube as well, how to um, uh, hack the uh, GitHub contribution graph and guess what? There are quite a lot of scripts which can uh, make your full chart green in couple of uh, with just a couple of lines of, of code. I want to show you how simple it is. So let's jump into uh, 
my computer and uh, do a couple of lines of code. All right, we are here on my uh, computer. Um, so for this uh, experiment, I uh, created a new account. Uh, basically, we have uh, literally zero uh, activity here. I, I don't know what's uh, this activity, probably because I've created the repository which we're gonna use in this um, uh, this experiment, let's say. Yep, let's go into the editor. All right, so I don't know any Python, but uh, looking onto Google, I've uh, came across uh, this guy. Let me show. So yeah, this guy, he um, uh, has the same thing over here. I copied his uh, code and did some uh, tweaks on it. Right. Um, so basically, we are importing a couple of things. We gonna loop through from one to three hundred sixty-five. I think you can guess why because we're gonna try to commit each each day for one entire year. Inside this loop, we also have another loop uh, because I want to commit multiple times per day. Uh, this way, you'll have different shades of green in your chart instead of having just one plain uh, color. Uh, we are creating a string based on uh, this uh, day. We are um, writing this uh, in this file. So basically based on uh, this file, Git will know that we did some changes. Uh, so yeah, this file is just an empty text file. Um, you can name it however you want. So the name doesn't doesn't really matter. Then we have the um, git add, which will add everything to the repo. We'll stage it. We'll add uh, the commit with the date, and uh, we'll, in the end, after everything is finished, we're gonna push to GitHub. Right, this might take a while, so let's write the command. And run it. So yeah, I'm gonna pause this video and come back when the thing is done to see the results. Alright, so we almost there. It's been a couple of minutes since we start the process. Alright, everything should be fine. Cool, now we need to go back to our page. Let's see, yeah, there have been some activities over here. We have a bit over 2000 uh, commits. Probably the chart is not done yet. Be sure you have the private contribution uh, checked, otherwise if you have a private uh, repository um, and you don't have that checked, then uh, you won't be able to see anything uh, in this contribution chart. We're gonna let uh, GitHub a couple of seconds to uh, do his thing. Alright, so we have the uh, contribution somewhere I think it was a bug or something because we have only half of half of the year uh, completed. Uh, but I think you know the um, the idea. You can tweak the script a little bit if uh, you want to make it uh, different. You also can watch uh, you can watch uh, this guy's uh, video. I hope you had some fun with uh, this uh, small project we had and um, yeah, see, I hope this uh, gave you a good understanding of why these kind of challenges they are not, um, are not really uh, productive and uh, they won't give you quite a lot of benefit. So my takeaway from this video is take time for yourself, uh, code, but uh, code wisely and uh, allow yourself to breathe a little bit. Uh, you don't have to um, 
code seven days out of seven, 350 days a year um, to prove that you're a good programmer. You have to work uh, smarter, not harder, especially in this industry. With all of this being said, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you do, uh, please uh, leave a like, it will help me quite a lot. If you want to see more videos like this, um, subscribe um, to this channel. And uh, if you have any questions and you want to tell me your point of view about uh, this uh, whole challenge, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer every single one of them. Thank you for watching, hope you'll have a productive day, see you next time, bye!